There's a minimum amount of mathematics you need to calculate the distance between frets on a guitar fingerboard. This video takes you through the minimum amount of mathematics. In cell A3, we'll type in a title. Fret number. And the frets are going to go from frets 1 through to 24. We could type them in individually, but there's a simple way of doing it. We type in fret 1, fret 2, highlight both cells. As we move the mouse cursor to the bottom right, and to this little tiny square here, the cursor changes. Holding the left mouse key down, we drag this down. And 14 down to fret 24. Now we need to work out the 12th root of 2. So in cell B4 we type equals 2 to the power of, and that's shift F6 on an English keyboard, open brackets, 1 slash 12, close brackets. We need to multiply this number by itself a further 23 times. In the cell below in B5 we type in equals B4 multiplied by B4. If you hit the F4 button on your keyboard that will happen. The dollar signs lock down the cell calculation. What that means is that if I go to say this calculation here, as you can see, this is multiplying the cell above by the first cell. Multiplying the cell above by the first cell. Multiplying the cell above by the first cell. And that's gone down to cell number B27, which is our 24th fret. We now need to work out the actual distances. Equals 1 minus 1 divided by B4. And again, we copy that down to the bottom. And these are the fractions of the scale length. It's obvious when you get to, say, fret 12, 0 0.5 is halfway down the fingerboard, which is the position of fret 12. 0 0.75 is 3 quarters of the way down the fingerboard, which is fret 24. I now need to work out the actual distances in terms of a unit. So I'll type in a scale length of, say, 630 millimeters. This 630 needs to be multiplied by this number, then it needs to be multiplied by this number, and so on. Equals 630, and again hit the F4 button to lock the cell, multiplied by cell C4. Don't lock the cell down. There's too many decimals there, we only need at most one decimal. And again, copy down to the bottom. And these are the actual distances. So if you take your nut as being zero length, your first fret is going to be 35.4 millimeters. Your twelfth fret will be 315 millimeters, which is half 630, and your 24th fret will be 472.5 millimeters. That's pretty much it. Everything f that follows now is just formatting to make this into something that you can follow. The first thing I'll do is I'll just move these calculations somewhere off to the side. I'll put them in cell AA for no very good reason other than it's just out of sight. Now I'll move these calculations 
next to here and as you can see I now have a fret number a scale length so I'll put in a title I have a unit and this is the distance I'll put in a little bit of formatting I'll make a nice grid around that and to make table navigation a little easier I'll put that in bold that in bold titles in bold and I'll put that in bold that's it if I take a short scale base 800 millimeters first fret is now 44.9 millimeters if I take a, a long scale base say 840 millimeters now my first fret is 47.1 millimeters and fret 12 is 420 millimeters that's all there is to it thanks for watching